so hi guys welcome back to my channel today i did a breast cancer awareness look this is for all the survivors all the people that's going through it i'm praying for you making sure you're okay and this look is dedicated to my auntie she had breast cancer so shout out to you auntie robin you know i love you girl so thank you so much for watching if you want to get this look and all this beautiful and all this you ain't see all this because this hair was pent up honey but if you like what you see please keep watching subscribe and share thank you bye so let's get right into it we're gonna start this breast cancer awareness look so i did my brows off camera if you want to see that i'll put it in the link below but i did do a brow tutorial for y'all so let's get into it so the first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna moisturize is with my vitamin C oil. It's literally almost gone and I do need some more. So, we're going to moisturize with that. See, look, it's almost gone. And we're going to make sure this face is nice and plump and get it together. Just like that. So, now I'm going to start off with uh, some concealer. I'm going to just conceal these eyes so I can start on this look so this is I don't know what pinks I'm gonna start off with but we are just gonna see how we go we're gonna see we're gonna go with the flow and I'm looking at this little mirror here so I broke it so if y'all see me looking at that I'm sorry so we're gonna start off with you know like I said the concealer we're just gonna pat that in pat 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 like that. So we're gonna use the 35B palette today. This one. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why Morphe palettes are so damn big. So I think the first pink I want to start off with, I want to start off with like a uh not a dark pink, and I do have my Jackie Aina palette here too. So I think I'm gonna start off. I'm gonna see. Oh, yeah, I'll be doing everything. Yeah, I think I'm going to start off with Supreme here in the Jackie Anna palette. I really like it. So, I'm going to just start off with like a little brush like this. And again, I'm going to pat that concealer in because it's creasing a little bit. And I'm just going to go ahead and tap my brush in Supreme. And I'm going to pat this color in right here. Just pat that in, just like that. And I'm gonna pat that all over my lid and in my crease. I'm gonna pat that in just like this, right on top. And pat that and blend it out. Just so everything will look seamless and blend it out. Just like that, you see? You don't want nothing to be too harsh. And I'm gonna even go in with a little pinker in the Jackie Aina palette. Oh yeah, that brand gives it a lot of depth. And I'm gonna just blend this out a little bit more. So, I'm going to come back after I blend this out and I'm going to show you the pinks that I'm going to use on my lid. So, it can be nice. Okay, guys. So, I'm back. I went and did my camera died. So, I um, I blended the other side off camera. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into this cut crease. I think this is going to be a new cut crease because... I think it just looked pretty cool. Hmm. Thank you. 
colors. So the first one I'm gonna go in with, I think I'm gonna go in with like a light pink. Yeah, I'm going with a light, light pink. Mm, no, I'm gonna go in with Supreme. And go back in that color. And then I think I'm going to go in with, I want to go in with like a really pretty light pink, but I'm kind of scared because sometimes this pink be staining in my eyes and I don't like it. I'm gonna go in with this light pink, like this. So, I'm gonna go into this uh, lilac looking color, it's in the Morphe 35B palette. And I'm gonna just pat that right along here. I think this purple is so pretty. I just love mixing colors. So like I said, I'm just going with this purple here and I'm gonna just mix it in with the other colors. And I truly like this purple. <laughs> take this Stila Cosmetics and I'm going to put that in a part that I wiped because I want that to be like kind of like my winged liner ish you know what I mean that's what I want it to be so mm -hmm, that's what we gonna do and I'm going to open this up because I think this is so pretty and I just thought about this just right now and I think this is gonna be Bomb. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to take this again and I'm just going to put that right on my lid. 
So now that I've done that, I'm going to get into this face. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a little bit more moisturizer on my face and make sure everything is blended out to perfection. Cause you have to make sure you're blending. You have to make sure if you're good, your money's worth. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get into this face. I just keep saying it, but I'm going to put on some primer. If it comes, oh, come on now. So, that's what we're doing. So now I'm going to take this ColourPop concealer. I'm going to get more concealers like this because I really like this. This is in Dark 42, and I also want to try the... Uh, I also want to try the uh, what you call this the no filter foundation I want to try it and I'm just using this as a color corrector because sis, she got bags designer bags and hyperpigmentation everywhere like, and don't nobody need that in their life and I'm just blend that out like this So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with my, what's this? No, not that. Not that. Not this one. Where is it, girl? Where is it? I'm going to go in with my um, black opal foundation stick and uh, truly topaz because this is my color. I love this freaking foundation. And I'm going to just put that everywhere. It's so creamy and buttery when it comes on. It's just so beautiful. And people don't understand my love for it. But they will soon. Like this is one of the best thick foundations ever. Only thing I don't like about this foundation, it it um what you call it? It transfers. And it's really bad transfer. It's not a good transfer. It get real well. So I'm making sure I get around these brows because I don't want halo brows, as we all know. And getting this forehead. It's five here, y'all got a five here. So now I'm gonna go in with my Sand Sable concealer from um what you call this? Maybelline. <laughs> I love this freaking concealer. I really do. It gets the job done, honey. It really does. And then I'm gonna go in, I would just buff that out. Just like that. And I'm gonna use this because I really need to see how my concealer is coming out. Cause I don't wanna be looking ashy. Don't nobody wanna do that in their lifetime. I'm going to use my Stasha buttercup and I'm just gonna put this everywhere and this gets everywhere too by the way like honey I'm gonna need you to get it together now I'm gonna contour with black opal stick and I do chocolate I don't know why I say it like that but it's just so funny This is, I got the wrong damn one. Wrong one. This is, I do chocolate. That one was nutmeg. Now I'm gonna go into with the stippling brush and I'm going to blend this out. 
done blended out that dang on contour, I'm gonna blend out the con nose contour. Cause you want your nose to be snatched, honey. You don't wanna be out here looking a mess. Uh, Flak Radiance True Complexion Foundation contour and I use this to bronze and I just like to get around the perimeter perimeter where I have you know contoured and now I'm gonna use my Mario Badescu facial spray and my dumb behind bought the tester can you see that I'm so slow I'm so slow so I'm just gonna no Oh, Jesus Christ. <coughs> okay, I'm done. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to put on my Artist Contour Highlighter. And honey, this stuff is messy, so you have to be careful. Just a little bit goes a long way. Oh, yeah. You see that? It does the job every time. And I'm just like the... Put it on there different brush yeah this one a highlighter brush it gets it done every time oh child Guys, i'm back i throw on some lashes because let's be honest putting on lashes is not the easiest thing in the world so we're gonna get back into this look so i'm gonna take that um that real bright pink and this morphe 35 b palette this one and I'm going to just dip that in here. And I'm gonna put that right in my waterline. Cause I think it is so pretty. It's just gorge. And um, I'm gonna do the other eye. I'm going to put on this lip liner in Berry by Ulta. I really like this one because it's a look, it's like a dark red. And I'll just line my lips with it. Just like that. Yeah. And I'm going to. like that and then I'm going to use this NYX butter gloss in it's called maple blonde I really like it it's like super pink okay. and I like when my gloss is super thick but thank you guys for watching this look Cause let's get it together. And this is again, this is my breast cancer awareness look. I really like this look. It's a little over the top, but it's okay. So thank you guys for watching. Go like, subscribe, and share this to all your friends, your mommy, your aunties, all the breast cancer survivors. I pray that everybody gets well and do better. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.